I work for ZF Active Safety and Electronics, which are based in Lafayette. So the first rotation I did, I was assigned. I was a testing and validation engineering co-op, working in our research and development lab, helping run a lot of the tests that the company needs to run to validate all the products that we make. I'd help design those tests, help uh, write the test write-ups, help write the test reports. I'd do some CAD work as well. I helped install new equipment. I picked up a lot of new skills that were required as, a, as the semester went by. And that was a fun first semester. I got to work with my hands a lot instead of sitting behind a desk, transitioning to my second semester, where I got to work in a more traditional engineering role, where I was more sitting behind a desk and I was doing a lot of design and simulation work. I would then be able to work with engineering teams and with suppliers and go back and forth with them and tell them, this isn't gonna work, this is gonna work, we can manufacture this, what problems do you have, what problems do we have, and get the, get the product out. I had a couple offers, one of them would have been an internship up in Chicago, and then I had ZF offering me a co-op. A lot of the pros for the internship were that you got to go for one semester and come back if you didn't like it. You weren't tied into anything for your whole college program if you wanted to. I think the co-op stood out to me because I didn't see that as a negative, I saw that as a positive. I took a bit of a chance, like if I liked the company and if I liked the people I was working with, it's a really unique opportunity for me to build upon my relationships with the same people. I was able to go back in my second rotation and not see new faces, see the same familiar faces and know exactly where I left off from, to pick up on the same problems that I was tackling the first time I was there. Graduating late was a little scary because you do lose, not lose, but you do separate yourself from a lot of the friends you might have made in school because obviously you do shift half a semester or a full year maybe off of your, your track in school. But for me, that wasn't super daunting, because firstly, working on a co-op, you're making full-time pay, almost. So that's a lot of money coming in. You're not paying school tuition. At the work, you make a lot of different connections, and you learn a lot about the industry, which I think really adds to the whole Purdue experience and engineering experience in general. I think there's a lot of things that you learn in experiential learning that you just don't get from learning in school. The second semester I did, where I was working on design and simulation, I learned how to do finite element simulation for the first time at work and I was able to go back to school the next semester and take machine design and almost ace the first exam because that was exactly what I did in work for an entire two and a half months or three months or whatever it was. Secondly, coming back and meeting new people may be a little scary but it's great. If you make even more connections, you meet even more new people from different backgrounds with different skills and you have the same friends who are now half a semester ahead of you which you can consult to for help. More than just the school skills, the interpersonal skills of working with people that I've never met before. At work, I'm working with all sorts of different people of different ages. I'm working with people who are a similar age to me, maybe 24, 25. The first semester I was there, I was able to work with people who are maybe 70, 75. So you would say it's worth it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.